In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create rolling text in Premiere Pro. If you want the free project file for this rolling animation, you can check my Patreon, link in the description. Let's get started. First, select the type tool and add your text. Double click on it and adjust it to your liking using the Essential Graphics panel. With the text still selected, it should be highlighted in red. Press Ctrl C to copy it. Go to the end of the word, press Enter to add a new line, and then press Ctrl V to paste the same word. Next, adjust the line spacing using this setting here. Decrease it to bring the two words closer together, but make sure to leave a small gap between them. Now keep repeating this process. Add a new line, paste the same word, about 20 times or so. Once you have all the copies, align the text horizontally and vertically so it's perfectly centered. Head over to the Effect Controls panel. Under Opacity, click the rectangle icon to add a rectangular mask. Set the mask feather to zero. We want the mask to cover only one word in the center. Select the Selection tool, then drag to select the top two mask points and move them down, either with your arrow keys or by dragging with the mouse, keeping them close to the text but not touching it. Do the same for the bottom two points. Move them up close to the text. Move the left points all the way to the left and the right points all the way to the right. At this point, only one word in the center should be visible inside the mask. Next, open the Effects window and search for Directional Blur. Add it to your text layer. Make sure your playhead is at the very start of the text layer. In Effect Controls, expand the text settings. Then click the stopwatch next to Blur Length to create a keyframe and set the blur value to 12. Scroll down to the Transform settings. Decrease the second position value so the text moves upward until it's completely out of view. Then create a keyframe there. Move the playhead forward about 3 or 4 seconds. Now set blur length back to zero. In the transform settings, increase the second position value so the text moves all the way to the other side, to the very last copy at the top, making sure only one word is visible. Drag to select all the transform keyframes, right click on any of them, choose temporal interpolation, ease in, and then right click again and choose ease out. Expand the arrow next to position, then expand the graph view. Grab the second blue handle and drag it all the way to the left. Your graph should now have this shape. And that's it. Your rolling text animation is ready. If you want the free project file for this rolling animation, you can check my Patreon. Link in the description. Make sure to subscribe for more quick and useful tutorials. That's all for today. See you in the next frame.